It's going to take a lot more, a lot more effort, I should say, to beat this lot better Edgewood team. Whiffs on a shot. Here goes Rotier. Rotier with a step. Can he corral the puck? He can. He'll play behind the net. Trying to find Anderson, who is crashing down low. Here comes Edgewood. Here's Coke. Great stick by Buscogger. Edgewood playing around the point. Hits his own teammate. Battling in the corner. Goes in front of McAlpine. He'll leave it out for Buscogger. Play at the point again, slap back in to Oregon's defensive zone. And McAlpine will corral it and cover it. A large portion of, this, of the start of this first period has been played in the neutral zone and down at Edgewood's end. Something that we have not seen so far from the Panthers this season. Off to kind of a sluggish and slow start. Linder with the faceoff in Oregon's defensive end. Face off one by the Crusaders, but controlled by Jakey. Jakey fires a shot. Wraparound had it, but could not finish denied by the post. Andrew Jakey, prolific goal scorer now, the state's all-time leader in goals, could not finish that one. Here's Shervin, skates in. Lindert in front had a shot, but saved by White. Back come the Crusaders. And they'll just give it up right to Leatherberry at the blue line. Linder was not ready for that pass, and the Crusaders have another shot. Edgewood playing it at the point. Fire it in. Edgewood work, working the puck around, but it's stopped by Clun, who gives it right back. Clun skates it out, tries to find Jakey. Bit of a soft pass, couldn't get through. Crusaders pressuring once again. Battling in the corner. That pass couldn't get through. Could not connect to his wing partner. Fires a shot saved by McAlpine. Another shot. Rebounded. Should say tipped in front or deflected in front, excuse me, and corralled by Nathan McAlpine. Bit of a slow start for the Panthers, and Edward has had a lot of good scoring opportunities, but... Nathan McAlpine has been a brick wall in that like he has been all year long. Another opportunity for the Crusaders. Good defense by Karasik. Shot save. Linder will play it out. Edgewood will have to regroup. Karasik tried to get it to Ethan Dish. McKenzie will chase after the puck. Nearly a turnover for the Crusaders, and now they'll come play it out, and there's Buskager there to corral it. Ethan Dish had a goal Wednesday night. Excuse me, that's actually Jockman for the Panthers. Edgewood will fire and beat. McAlpine will play it behind his net, leaves it for Karrison. Battling in the corner. No one can seem to come up with it. Anderson comes out with it. Pass to the boards, no one there. McKenzie plays it out and will fire it out of the zone. Edgewood will have to regroup. Dawson Peterson will skate with it past the red line and will just dump it in. Covered up by White and he'll play it behind the net. Rotier gathers. Fires it in deep. White will play it behind his net. Crusader cycling the puck down low. In the corner, it's Rotier battling it for it. Could not get it out. Edgewood will go one on two. Tries to make a move. Leatherberry is all over it. Will force him into the corner for a turnover. Leatherberry will lay him down. And they'll get a breakout pass to Anderson. Here comes Anderson. Anderson with Rotier and Peterson. Rotier try to get to Peterson. Knocked away. Clun will fire it in deep. Panthers will get a line change. White will play it behind his net. Miscommunication between the Crusaders as they probably had a good opportunity to skate with it. Won't go. McAlpine plays along the boards for Shervin. Shervin to Jakey. 
Here comes Andrew Jakey, one on two. It's a knocked away by the Crusader defense. Under 10 minutes to go here in the first period. Buscogger will settle things down, give it over to his D partner, Karasik. Karasik back over to Buscogger. Edgewood doing a good job of pressuring the Panthers into a lot of turnovers as that pass is turned over. Linder will skate behind the net. Karasik finds, tries to find Shervin, and here we go, Shervin and Jakey, and that pass will be deflected and it'll hit the ceiling for a stoppage of play. Panthers, not a lot of scoring chances so far. Edgewood doing a good job of stopping their prolific scorers, Anderson, Jakey, and Shervin and Linder. Nothing going so far for the Panthers. Anderson to face off with Coke. No one can really corral it. It was in Anderson's feet. Now Rotiro played along the boards. That pass is deflected off someone's skate. And here comes Anderson. Anderson shot saved by White. One, or Peterson trying to keep it in. And now two on one for the Crusaders. Faulty pass and Clun will pick it up. Edgewood will fire it in deep. McAlpine will play it behind his net as the Crusaders get a line change. Battling in the corner, Edgewood corrals. Shot blocked by Anderson off his body. And an icing is called. Talk about Nathan McAlpine's 7-0-0 record. Average goals per game, or average goals against, I should say, just one. Seven games played, seven goals allowed. Panthers trying to break it out. There's Lindert. Lindert will control, loses. And another neutral zone to turnover for the Panthers. Buscogger slips. Oh, three on O opportunity for the Crusaders. They could not get a good shot off as that shot sailed wide. Lindert behind the net. Lindert along the boards to Shervin. Panthers, good breakout pass, Shervin and Jakey. Puck knocked, out, knocked away by the Crusader D. Here's Jakey. Jakey gets wide. Andrew Jakey going in. White can't find it. White sits on it and saved. Andrew Jakey tried a little one-hand tuck, but White was all over it. Puck was loose for a second. Shervin couldn't find it. White just laid on, down on it. Refs blew it dead. First good scoring opportunity for the Panthers there. And with 7-16 remaining in the first period, it is still 0-0. Dish plays it in the corner. Jockman trying to find McKenzie, couldn't go. Jockman played it to the point, Leatherberry down to McKenzie on the boards. McKenzie gets Puck knocked away from him, and here comes the Crusaders. Two on two. Clun's gonna skate out with it. The defenseman loses the puck controlled by Dish, and Jockman will play it deep, and he'll be covered up by White, who will play it to his defenseman. Puck goes into the bench. And we'll have a face-off coming up in the neutral zone. Correction, the puck will be played in Oregon's offensive end. Opportunity coming up for the Panthers with 6.34 remaining in period number one. Anderson against Koch in the face-off. One by Coke and controlled by the Crusaders. Edgewood had a bit of a breakaway. Correction, Best, Best Kager was back.
Pearson tries to find it to Rotier, but could not connect. Offsides is called on the Crusaders, and we'll have a neutral zone faceoff. Both goalies standing tall and net. Rowan White has faced a couple shots now. Still not at at zero. Karasik up to Peterson. Peterson will tip it in, and an icing is called. Unfortunate bounce there as the Panthers will now have a faceoff in their defensive end. Faceoffs have been about 50 50 so far for both sides. Matt Richter will face off for the Crusaders. Anderson for the Panthers. One and controlled by the Crusaders. Fires a backhand shot, easy save by McAlpine. Line change for both teams coming up. It'll be the top line of Jakey, Shervin, and Lindert for the Panthers. Pass out in front, cannot connect. Opportunity there for the Crusaders as another neutral zone turnover gives it back to the Crusaders. Here's Richter. Richter fires a shot saved by McAlpine. One-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Good save by McAlpine. Edgewood's had a lot of really good opportunities on McAlpine. McAlpine continuing to prove that he's a brick wall back in that net. Crusaders once again, opportunity knocked away. Good defenseman by good defense by Shervin. Jakey with the puck. Jakey will pass it to himself off the boards. Shervin will fire it into the Edgewood bench. Both teams, a lot of turnovers in the neutral zone. Panthers especially have led to little opportunity so far on Rowan White, the Edgewood netminder. That shot by Jakey goes high and wide. Panthers will have to regroup. Otherberry fires it in. Edgewood plays it behind their net. Breakout pass to Coke. And here come the Crusaders once again, playing it in the Panthers' corner. Pass on front, blocked by Clun. Clun will fire it out. Pass can't get through to Jakey. That would have been huge. That pass goes off of Linder. Jakey will corral at the Panthers' blue line. Leather Bear up to Shervin. Shervin to Linder. Linder will fire in deep for a dump and chase with Jakey. Karasik winds up, slap shot from the point, saved by Rowan White. Edgewood trying to break this puck out, and they will successfully. Here come the Crusaders. Shot saved by McAlpine, rebound goes wide. Great job by Nathan McAlpine. Another turnover before the blue line. Another shot. Saved by McAlpine. Pass back out to the point. Fires a shot, gets deflected by Rotier. Lands on the then as Richter. Shot in front, saved by McAlpine off the mask. Rebound, it'll be covered up by McAlpine. Nathan McAlpine. Great sequence there from the Panther netminder. Four saves for him, and four big ones, too. Face off won by Edgewood and controlled by them. Put down into the corner. Clun battling with a couple Crusaders. Anderson comes to help him out. Puck is dug out by the Crusaders. Pass out to the point. Fires a shot low, deflected, and goes wide, just wide of the bar. That guy had a chance. Here comes Anderson. Anderson will dump it off to Rotier. 
Goes here back to Anderson. Knocked away by the Crusaders. So Leatherberry will pick it up at the red line. Leatherberry will fire it in. Easy save by White. Here come the Crusaders. They've got numbers. Shot into his teammate skating. Back out come the Panthers. Here's James Shervin. Shervin skates in. Puck knocked away. Shervin makes a move. Gets his own puck again. Tries to find it out in front. Here's Klung. Klung a shot. Jakey went in for a tip. Couldn't get a piece of the puck. Saved by White. Battling in front of the Edgewood net as the puck will trickle out to Leatherberry. Logan Leatherberry skating in. He'll fire a shot that goes deflected and it goes high. 2-21 remaining in the first period. It is still 0-0. Panthers, some good opportunities there. Probably the best shift of, their, of the game for them. Face off one by the Panthers. Buskager shoots and scores. Brock Buskager from the point, his fourth goal of the year. What a shot by Brock Buskager, and just like that, it is one nothing Oregon. Rips it from the point and scores. An effective screen in front by the Panther forwards. White did not see it the whole way through. You can feel the energy shift in this building now as that is a huge goal to give the Panthers some momentum. Harrisig will play it behind his net. Edgewood will have to regroup. Puck out away from the defenseman. Here's Richter. Richter tangled up with Linder. Good defense by Linder. Richter will get the puck back. Fires a shot. Deflected in front. Did not get to McAlpine. Here comes Andrew Jakey. Good pass to Shervin. Broken up by Richter. Anderson corrals in the neutral zone. Leatherberry fires a shot to Rotier off his stick. Jakey tried to get it between his legs, could not go, and Edgewood will corral as they'll break out. Shot, tipped, goes out of play. Defensive zone faceoff coming for the Panthers. Their defensemen have done a great job of digging out the pucks in the corners and really leading out to a lot of great breakout passes. Still only one nothing though. Well, that first goal was huge by Brock Buskager. Flun will fire it around the boards to Jockman who gets hit and dropped. Ethan Dish. Pressuring behind the net. Crusaders will break out. Three on three coming into the other end, and it'll be off sides on the Crusaders. Neutral zone face off coming up. 56 re seconds remaining here in the first period. Anderson will take the face off versus Owen Porter. Face off one and corralled by Peterson in front of the Panthers net. Anderson lost the puck, could not find it. Edgewood will corral in their defensive zone. Karasik behind the net. Valley in front, risky play, saved by McAlpine. Shot from the point goes wide. Edgewood trying to work the puck around. Taken away 
by Rotier and played by Peterson. Here's Anderson coming in. Got the puck taken away from Porter. Porter. Good pass in front. And a penalty coming up on a slash, which will send Mason Anderson to the box. So with two seconds left in the first period, Edgewood will have a two-second power play before it will, of course, start once again in the second period. A slash on Anderson makes it a five on four in favor of Edgewood. Face off one, shot goes wide, and that is the end of the first period. Brock Buskager puts the Panthers on the board first to make it one nothing Oregon. Thank you. 
Welcome back to Oregon Ice Arena. We are just about 15 seconds away from the start of the second period. First period was highlighted by Brock Buskager's goal from the blue line to set up the Panthers up 1-0. Mason Anderson will start the period in the box for a minute and 59 seconds. The Panthers will be on the penalty kill. Second period action in this year's Badger Challenge is underway. Clun will shoot it down and take some time off the clock. Rotier will chase. Edgewood on the power play. Finds an open man along the boards. Edgewood skating in. Comes up to Powers, won't go. Porter, I should say. Richter will get back to chase, and here comes Shervin. Shervin. Wins the race. Can he get the puck out behind the back of the net? Does not look like it. Edgewood will break out. Shot on net, deflected by Leatherberry, and it goes wide. Edgewood playing the puck along the point. Edgewood settling things down, trying to find an open shot. Saved by McAlpine. That was Coke with a shot from top of the circle right into McAlpine's chest. Good save by Nathan McAlpine. Line change here for the Panthers. Anderson is still in the box for another minute 12. Face off one and controlled by the Crusaders along the blue line. Richter lost it in his skate. Puck flutters up in the air. Edgewood controls once again and it'll be fired out but cannot get out as it's deflected off an Edgewood player. Rebound. Saved, Nathan McAlpine. Two quick saves there, and the Panthers will knock off some more time on this penalty kill. Ethan Dish will fire a shot, and it will be gloved by White. Good job by the two sophomores there, Dish and Jockman, who are controlling the puck and getting a nice shot off here on this penalty kill. 37 seconds left on the penalty kill for the Panthers. Lindert will face off against Porter, won and controlled by the Crusaders. Edgewood's going to go slow. Only 25 seconds left on the power play. 
And an offside is called. Kinsler was there on the blue line. Could not wait for his teammates. Edgewood called for an offside. Face off in the neutral zone. One by Edgewood. Edgewood still going slow. Here comes Jakey. Jakey with a burst of speed. Could not get it in between the defender's legs as Edgewood will corral it. Anderson will be out of the box. Both teams are now at full strength. Five on five now. Lindert skates from behind the net. Breakout pass to Shervin goes far, and an icing is called. Still a one nothing here from Oregon Ice Arena. 14-41 left here in the second period. It will be a defensive, excuse me, be an offensive faceoff for the Crusaders. Still trying to knot this game out that one. Faceoff is controlled by the Crusaders. Shot blocked by Anderson. Harrison will play it behind the net. And we'll get a good breakout pass to Anderson. Anderson gets it around and is grabbed. Behind the net, Anderson couldn't find it in his feet. Anderson gets it out to the point to Buscogger. Buscogger scored one earlier there, and that puck will be deflected by White and out of play. Brock, Brock Buskager opened up the scoring tonight for the Panthers from the blue line in late in the first period. Could not get that one to go. Faceoff won the Buskager. That one will hit the ceiling and will have another faceoff. Anderson the faceoff for the Panthers. Face off, won by Anderson and controlled for a second. Now battling the corners, Rotier and Anderson. Rotier will scoop up. Rotier, wraparound opportunity, won't get it to go. Poked away by White. Karasik will go receive the puck in the corner. Puck played behind by the Crusaders. There's Kinsler. Kinsler out in front. No one there. Peterson chips it out of the zone. And the Crusaders will have to regroup. Behind the net are the Crusaders trying to break this puck out. And he'll break it out, but to nobody as Leatherbury will scoop it up in Oregon's defensive end. Nice move by Linder. Linder and the Panthers have numbers. Three on two. That puck will get tipped away. Linder will corral it, though, along the boards. They'll find Jakey. Jakey whiffs on a pass. And Edgewood will try to break it out, but scooped up by Klun. Plunge shoots and glove saved by White. Rowan White has been busy as of late. Only one goal let in in this entire game. Both netminders have made a bunch of impressive saves so far. Linder to face off with Porter. Linder corrals, gets it to himself, tried to find Jakey Jakey from the net. Rebound, score, correction. Thought it might have snuck in there, but it is saved by Rowan White. The initial shot and the rebound saved by White. Great save by White there in front with Jakey. Linder loses the face off to Porter as Edgewood will play it behind the net. Go into Edwards' offensive end, but Leatherberry will control. Panthers have numbers. Jakey fires a shot way high and out of play. He had Shervin. Puck sailed high and out of play. Line change for both squads. 12.53 remaining here in the second period. Anderson will face off with Richter. Face off one by the Crusaders. Here's Richter. 
Scoops it up along the boards. Will fire a shot low, gets deflected and wide of McAlpine. Karasik misfires, but Anderson will corral. Anderson shot, gloved up by White. Low scoring game, a lot different than what we saw Wednesday night where the Panthers just ran out that Milton Redhawks team, 9-0. Today, just 1-0, almost halfway through the game. Only goal belongs to Brock Buskager. Faceoff is in the feet. A couple players, Buskager's shot is blocked. McKenzie couldn't play it behind the net. Here comes the Crusaders, they have numbers. Pass with, controlled by Buskager. Out to McKenzie, McKenzie couldn't corral it and it will be an icing. It was Gotsky who looked like he had a, either a pass or shot opportunity on McAlpine but just whiffed on the pass. Could have been dangerous. Defensive zone faceoff for the Panthers. Lindert will win in control. Controlled himself behind the net. We'll get it up to Shervin. Shervin whiffs on a pass. Klon orders D partner Leatherberry. Leatherberry gets intercepted. Klon up to Shervin. James Shervin, the speedy sophomore, gets it and beats is the D-man behind the net into the corner. Battling along the boards as Edward will corral and break it out. Pass goes far, controlled by Leatherberry up to Jakey and that pass will miss. Can't connect. Edward in their offensive zone, Leatherberry ties him up on the boards. Puck now behind the net, controlled by Linder. Leonard up to Shervin, slap shot from the point, blockered away by McAlpine. Battling in front of the Edgewood net, excuse me, Edgewood bench, I should say, is Lindert and Clun. Clun will get out of the scuffle with the puck, finds Jakey along the board, so he'll chip it out, and they'll get a line change. Icing is called. A lot of missed passes, a lot of passes tipped off sticks to start this period. Not a lot of good looks from both sides so far, almost halfway through the second period here at Oregon Ice Arena. Anderson for the faceoff for the Panthers. He'll tie up and win. Puck grabbed out of the air by Anderson. Anderson will chip it, hits it off himself, and Edward will be going the other way with it. So Rosenberg will fire it in. Rosenberg plays it behind the net. Rosenberg out in front, no one there. Buskiger corrals the puck. Peterson finds Anderson. Anderson will knock it down. Anderson over to Rotier. Rotier will slap it towards the boards and Edward will pick it up. Back come the Panthers. Here's Rotier. Rotier to Peterson. Not a lot of good tape to tape passes here in this period as that puck is knocked away from Kinsler. Shot blocked. Good body from Anderson. That's probably his third block of the game. White will play it from his net, and Edgewood will come back. Edgewood on a rush. Richter dumps it off. Shot goes far and high. Rebound. Shot off a slap shot won't go. Another high shot from the Crusaders. Edgewood enters the offensive zone. Richter cannot connect. Panthers going the other way. Another pass. Can't connect with Shervin, and that icing will be waved off. Lenz with the puck, enters the zone. Lenz tries to find Richter. Richter, a shot saved by McAlpine. Right in front of the net. Good save by the Panthers goalie. This puck will be played behind the net by the Crusader defense. 
He let a breakout pass, and here come the Crusaders. Pass is blocked and stopped by Leatherberry. Leatherberry will fire it out to Anderson. Anderson up to Shervin. Shervin leaves it and dumps it into the corner for Anderson. Anderson to Jakey. Jakey back to Anderson. Buskager fires a shot. Saved by White. Not a clean save. And back come the Crusaders. They do have numbers. Three on two. Two on one. Shot saved by McAlpine. That's Coke. He had an open shot. One on one with the goalie for a split second. But McAlpine shuts it down. And McAlpine once again just being proving that it is his net. No goals to his name in the last four and a half periods. Panthers trying to break it out, can't. Edgewood had a shot there saved by McAlpine. Here's Rotier. Rotier, tape to tape, pass with Peterson. Peterson will slow things down. Peterson will fire it deep and it's corralled by a Crusader in the corner. Karasik shot from the point, blockered away by White. Anderson gets the puck. Shot saved by White. Tough angle. It was a tough angle on a shot there by Anderson. Good save by White. A little pushing and shoving after the play there on Anderson, but refs decide to keep the whistle in their pocket. Offense zone face off for McKenzie and the Panthers. McKenzie. Clun will play it on the boards. Down the Jockman. Jockman trying to find Dish. Panthers trying to work the puck down low, but controlled by the Crusaders. Breakout pass, and once again, the pass gets away from Richter. Brother here played along the end behind the net to Clun. Clun skates behind the net, will fire it up to Dish, cannot connect. And that will be another icing. Offensive zone faceoff coming for the Crusaders. A lot of missed passes by this Panthers team, uncharacteristic of them. And I think that's a big reason why they only lead 1-0. 7 6 remaining here in the second period from Oregon Ice Arena. Linder. The faceoff with Richter, and Linder will win it to Leatherberry behind the net, but it's controlled, and a penalty coming up on Leatherberry. And it's going to be uh, two minutes for hooking for Leatherberry. Leatherberry does not agree with the call. Either way, he's going to have to serve two minutes in the sin bin. Second power play opportunity for the Crusaders. Panthers killed it off fairly easily last time. For the second time this period, they'll be playing five on four. Shervin to face off. Shervin wins it to a Crusader. Shervin dunk, gets it out, and here comes Shervin. Shervin and Rotier. Shervin battling, could not get a pass or a shot off. Rotier fires it back towards the net. Ooh, Shervin is there. Shervin gets knocked down, and here come the Crusaders. Crusaders will bring it all the way around to the point. He's trying to work the puck in deep, work the puck around, back out to the point. The fire a shot, gets tipped, but wide. Shot saved by McAlpine. Good save by Nathan McAlpine. Crusaders still working the puck around the point. He's doing a good job of playing in that box. Pass down low, pass to the middle, gets knocked away by Buskager. Shot goes wide, had an opportunity for the back door, but is misfired. And the Panthers will get the puck out of their defensive end. Line change coming for the Panthers. And an icing. Edgewood had a good shot at a redirect tip in goal back door, but could not connect, it sailed wide. 
And now Ethan Dish will face off against Barnett. Won by the Crusaders and controlled behind the net. Less than 50 seconds here on the power play for the Crusaders. Edgewood enters the zone. They play it behind the net. To the point, loses it, they'll have to regroup. Edgewood working along, skates in deep, skates behind the net. And a missed pass, and here comes Jockman, one on one. He'll fire a shot low, saved by White. White will play it out for the Crusaders. 10 seconds left on the power play. Crusaders are gonna have one more opportunity. Shot and glove saved by McAlpine. One second left on the power play for the Crusaders. They'll have an offensive zone faceoff. One final short chance for Edgewood. Anderson and Matt Richter will face off in the Panthers' defensive end. And big face-off win by the Crusaders as Anderson will block another shot. Leatherberry's back on the bench and it'll be covered up by McAlpine. Both teams now at even strength with 4.48 remaining here in the second period. Anderson, the face-off against Richter once again. Tied up and controlled by Rotier. will dump it into the corner. Edgewood will take care of it. Out in front, shot blocked by Anderson. Anderson nearly blocked another one. Leatherberry will play it around the boards to Peterson, who can't get it out. Peterson now does, and now a two-on-one opportunity. Here comes Isaac Rotier. Rotier to Anderson, can't connect. Follow up by a shot from Peterson. Can't get it to go, saved by White. Golden opportunity for the Panthers, wasted. As that shot will sail wide. Rotier, good pass to the point to Clung. Leatherberry will fire a shot in deep just to get a change for the Panthers. Edgewood enters the zone. Control by Clun in the corner, Lindert. Whiffs on a shot, Shervin will come out with it. James Shervin with an opportunity. Shervin makes a move in between his legs, easy save by White. Karasik winds up for one, but got stopped by a Crusader in his tracks. Edward will play it out now. Shervin with a huge hit right in front of the Panthers bench. Jakey. Shot, oh, just wide. Jakey in front of the net, battling Linder, trying to get a piece of it, but couldn't. Edgewood behind the net. Here come the Crusaders. Pass to nobody, Jakey will steal it. Lindert, cross eyes, can't connect with Shervin. Shervin. They'll dump it in. Crusaders will regroup. Karasik gets it at the blue line. Skates it back. Wraps it around. Another turnover in the defensive end for the Panthers. They'll get it up, though, to Jakey. Jakey skating in. Enters the zone, gives up to Rotier. Pass behind him. Could not corral it. Back come the Crusaders. And a penalty coming up on Jack Clun. And Anderson will shove him in the back. Edgewood wants two penalties, one on Anderson and one on Clun, but they're only gonna get Jack Clun. Two minutes for hooking for Jack Clun. There was some pushing and shoving from Anderson in the corner that Edgewood wanted a second penalty. I think the refs are discussing it.
And it looks like they're going to bring Anderson to the box too. Or is it Buscogger? And Mason Anderson will take a trip to the box too. Five minutes for checking from behind from Anderson. Now two players in the box. Anderson second trip to the box. Some more discussion going on between the refs and the Panther bench it looks like. Panthers will be short handed five on three. Golden opportunity here for the Crusaders to get back in this one. Referee discuss, discussing with Cole Hefty, assistant head coach for the Panthers. What I saw was after the play, it was, a, it was a clear penalty by Anderson down there in the corner. With 2.11 remaining, the Panthers are going to be shorthanded for a long time. Now five on three. They have Leatherberry, Linder, and Buscogger out there. We'll see if Edgewood can capitalize. Leatherberry will slap it along the boards. Panthers not chasing. Edgewood trying to find an open shot. Shot on goal, saved by McAlpine. Working the puck around. Shot on goal, sails wide and high, and the puck will be out of the zone. Panthers not chasing. Less than two minutes now in the period. Edgewood working. Shot off the crossbar, no goal. Panthers got lucky there, and another great save by Nathan McAlpine as play will stop as the puck goes out of play. That's Kegel who shot it off the post. What a shot from him, but it remains 1-0 in favor of Oregon. Jakey, Sherman, and Leatherberry now out there for the Panthers trying to kill off this penalty. Clun still in there for a minute 11. Taking around at the point, passes his D partner, Kegel. Working it down low now. Nothing going for the Crusaders. Can't find an open shot. James Sherman doing a good job along the boards. Here's Kegel. Back door, open shot, but the net comes off. McAlpine. I think it accidentally jarred the net loose. And that is a strain of good luck for the Panthers as it was an open shot for the Crusaders. Well, the game will remain 1-0. Face off won by the Crusaders. Kegel over to his D partner. Richter, shot goes wide. Working the puck down low in the corner. Passes up to Kegel. Kegel over to Richter. Richter over to Kegel. Kegel shot low, blocked by Leatherberry. Kegel trying to find his open forwards down low. Panthers playing great D here on this five on three. 35 seconds remaining here in the second period. Leatherberry will just dump it out. Great penalty kill as Clun will be joining the Panther bench here in 10 seconds. One quick last rush for the Crusaders. Kegel, Richter, back over to Kegel. Clun is out of the box, five on four, saved by McAlpine. McAlpine, diving save, and Edgewood will score. It's Block who put it in on the five on four on the rebound and is now tied one apiece here at Oregon Ice Arena. The assistant captain put in on the rebound just as Klung got out of the box. 
golden opportunity for the Crusaders and they capitalize. And for two minutes and 48 seconds, it is once again five on four as Anderson still in the box with four seconds left here in the second period. Crazy faceoff will wind up behind the net and the second period of play is over. 1-1 one, one is now the score as Edgewood knots a goal with four seconds remaining in the first period. Panthers will open up the third and final period down a man. We'll be right back.
Before we get too deep into the third period, I want to remind you that OCA Media reaches thousands of viewers with programs like this. Consider joining our fine group of local business sponsors today at OCAMedia.com. OCA Media is your local source for information and entertainment. Hundreds of programs are produced each year by OCA Media. We are your community access television station based right here in Oregon. Award-winning productions like this are made possible with support from our local businesses' sponsors and by the viewers like you. More information is available at OCAMedia.com. You are watching on OCA Media Panther Sports Production, Oregon Community Access. Community is our middle name. Third period action about to begin here in about a minute. Teams coming out of their locker rooms. We are knotted up 1-1 here in this 2024 Badger Challenge. Edgewood scored with just four seconds remaining in the second period on a five-on-three power play. And the Panthers will start short once again, five-on-four, as Anderson had that five-minute major who will be serving two minutes and 44 seconds once more to start the period. We are just seconds away from the start of our final period. 1-1 is the score here in this Badger Challenge between the number one team in the small conference, Badger Crusaders, and the number one team in the Badger Large, your Oregon Panthers. Rotier will face off for the Panthers. Face off controlled by Clung. We'll launch it on the boards. Edgewood on a power play still for another two minutes and 30 seconds now. McAlpine will play from behind his net. Dangerous pass there. McAlpine trying to get back in his net. Edgewood, though, did not see it, cannot get a shot off. Richter a shot right into the glove of McAlpine. Another great save by the Panther net miner. Dangerous play behind the net by McAlpine. Lost the puck, but able to get back in before Edgewood could notice and get a fire shot off. That faceoff is won by the Panthers, but controlled behind the net by the Crusaders. Here's Kegel. Passes over to Richter. Richter tries to set up a one tee from the dot, could not get a good shot off. Richter plays it down low. That's, that's Coke working on Rotier. Puck cleared out by the Panthers. It'll be played by White. He'll just settle the puck down to Kegel. 16 minutes remaining here in the game. 1-1 is your score. Here's Coke. Coke gives it up. Saved by McAlpine. Turned behind the net. Leatherberry plays behind the net. Up to Shervin. A minute 25 left on the penalty kill for the Panthers. Shervin trying to work around the Edgewood defense, and Edgewood now has numbers. Here's Coke. Behind the net. Good stick by Clun. Back out to the point. Richter. Passes it into Jockman's body. Richter a shot. Deflected by Leatherberry out in front of the net. Jockman with pulls a body on Coke. And they'll clear it out. Now less than a minute in this power play. Played behind the net by the Crusaders. Crusaders breaking out, looking to enter in the zone. Shot by Kegel, fires wide. Rebound, scores! It's Kinsler on the rebound. McAlpine didn't know where it was. And it can't get much easier than that for the Crusaders as they'll go up 2-1 on the Panthers. Oh, 
McAlpine could not find the puck and Kinsler scooped it up as probably the easiest goal you'll ever score. Unfortunate bounce there behind the net for McAlpine and now it is 2-1 Crusaders. Since it was a major penalty, Anderson remains in the box for the full five minutes. McAlpine will cover. And a faceoff coming in Edgewood's offensive zone. Wild turn of events up until four seconds left in the second period. It was 1 0 Oregon, and now with 14 44 left, it is now 2 1 Edgewood. Buskager will ring it around the boards all the way down, and White will play it and is behind the net. Edgewood skating in. Good move. Nicked off the post. Shot it wide. Kinsler scored the second goal. Could not find anybody. Shot from the point. Saved by McAlpine. And now Anderson is just out of the box. Both teams now at full strength. It is, it is now 2-1 in favor of the Crusaders here at Oregon Ice Arena. It'll be Porter and Anderson for the faceoff. Controlled by the Crusaders originally and controlled once again. Backdoor shot saved by McAlpine. Great save by Nathan McAlpine. Here's Peterson. Stuck in between Peterson's feet. Be played by Edgewood. Anderson chases. Anderson corrals. Gives it up to Peterson, who cannot corral it. And back come the Crusaders. Saved by McAlpine in front of the net. It was Thompson who kind of wrapped around Leatherberry. Had a good opportunity, couldn't really get a good shot off. And McAlpine will cover. Panthers 13-0 on the season. First loss. Still have not had their first loss. Undefeated season in jeopardy here as they find themselves down by one with 13 minutes remaining. Linder will catch it at the blue line. Here comes Easton Linder. You know, skates in, drops it, no one there. Trying to find Shervin. A little miscommunication and now here come the Crusaders. Shot deflected in front. Crusaders passing it up to the point now. Shot saved by McAlpine. Buskager will play it behind the net. Only goal for the Panthers. Belongs to Brock Buskager in the first period. Edgewood can't get a good pass off. Here comes James Shervin. Sherman will settle down and dump it in. Panthers will get a line change. Played behind the net by White. Anderson corrals. Shot deflected and out of play. Rowan White has been stellar in net today for the Crusaders. Just one goal let in on a bunch of shots from this Panthers team. Played behind the net, Rotier tried to find Anderson, got kind of knocked out of his way, and here come the Crusaders. Anderson fighting with the stick. Shot goes wide. Peterson. Shot saved and blocked out of play by McAlpine. Defensive zone faceoff coming for the Panthers. Lindert will face Porter. Lindert will win it. It'll be controlled by Leatherberry around the boards. Here comes Anderson. Anderson 
Gets a hand to the face, gets dragged down, and it's saved. Isaac Rotier had a chance back door. Panthers are looking for a penalty. Here come the Crusaders. And there, they're going to get called for a hook. Anderson got shoved in the face and got dragged down in front of the Edgewood bench. Refs did not see it. And they'll get Peterson for a hook on the other, going the other way. Panthers bench not happy with the turn of events here. Anderson got dragged down by the mask, it looked like. Refs did not see it and is now Another penalty kill for the Panthers. Panthers got to find a way to get back in this one as a rip a shot on McAlpine and he'll save it. Played at the point by Richter. Edgewood working the puck around. Shot by Kegel. Saved by McAlpine. He gloved it, fell straight down, and he'll pick up his own rebound. Good work by Nathan McAlpine to just cover the puck. Dish will face off, will lose it. Edgewood controlling the puck. There's Richter, will dump it down low to Porter. Edgewood working the puck around, trying to find an open shooter. Play at the point to Kegel. Kegel over to Richter. Richter down to Porter. Porter over to Kegel. Kegel will shoot a low shot. Tip opportunity sails wide. Richter skates in. Try to connect with Coke. Played behind the net. Coke trying to find Kegel. Good job by Dish. And Leatherberry will fire it out of the zone. Edwards got to regroup. 50 seconds left on the power play for the Crusaders. Peter, that's not Peterson, excuse me, that's Dish. Tried the whack at it. Edgewood going the other way. Shot saved by McAlpine. Line changes for both teams. 10-13 remaining in the third period. Panthers trail by one. Peterson in the box for another 36 seconds. Rotier to face off against Block. Block had the first goal with four seconds left in the second period. Panthers will dump it down to try to drain some of that clock. Shervin had to open that. Shervin, another shot, can't get it to go. Saved by White. James Shervin snuck up on White behind the net. Had an open wrap around and was denied by the post. Another rebound and a great save by Rowan White to keep the game 2-1. Missed opportunities for the Panthers have been the story in this one. Face off in the offensive zone for, the, for Oregon. Shervin to Karasik. Controlled by the Crusaders. Shervin went for a hit. As it's dumped in and they'll play it behind the net. Referee got tangled with Rotier. Panthers not happy with the refs as Peterson will get out of the box. Icing was called. Rotier was trying to receive a pass from, I believe it was Karasik, and it just hit the ref, and the ref just stood there. Panthers now back at full strength, five on five, based off from the center dot. Leatherberry will pass it up to Anderson. Anderson gives it to Jakey. Jakey shot deflected off Kegel. Oh. 
Edgewood breaks out. Here come the Crusaders. Nifty move. Shot gets blocked. Off the stick of Leatherberry. Shot up in front, easy save. Hit the back of the net, it looked like. And Panthers will break out. Here's Anderson. Anderson waits for Jakey, will dump it in. Anderson gets tangled up. Panthers will chase with Lindert. Linder will play to the other side. Jakey backhand shot goes wide. Rotier will dump it back in. Rotier got lit up in front of the Edgewood bench. And he'll draw a penalty. That's Halbib, or Halbib, I should say, who will serve two minutes in the box. Two minutes for interference on the hit on Rotier in front of the Edgewood bench. Panthers power play opportunity. Lindert loses the draw, and Edgewood trying to clear the puck out. Jakey, high stick. Play is whistled dead. I believe this is the first power play opportunity for the Panthers tonight. Edgewood has two power play goals. Panthers looking for one of their own. Here comes Anderson. Anderson gets tangled around the neck. It's kind of held. No call, though, as Edgewood will dump it. Leatherberry gets pressured in front of the net. Leatherberry will pass it out to Anderson. Anderson over to Lindert. Lindert try to pass it down low to Anderson, and it will sail out of play. Now just 7.49 remaining here in the third period. Edgewood still leads 2-1. Panthers on the power play for another minute 16. Face off one by Lindert, but controlled by the Crusaders and they'll dump it. McAlpine will play it from behind his net. Leatherberry will fire one and is caught by Halbabe in the box. Panthers is looking a little sluggish today. And with just 7.33 remaining down one, they got to find a spark sooner rather than later. Face off in the defensive end for the Panthers. Here comes Jakey. Two on one. Andrew Jakey and Mason Anderson, and that pass is knocked away. Anderson will throw it into the offensive zone for a little dump and chase. Leatherberry plays it to Jakey and offsides. Jakey called offsides just nearly. It was close for sure. In a neutral zone faceoff. Still on the power play for 34 more seconds. Panthers are yet to get a good shot off on this power play. Leonard and Porter face off in the neutral zone. McAlpine will save with his chest. Played behind the net by Leatherberry. Here's Jakey. Jakey going out for a skate. Jakey gets the puck knocked away. McAlpine 
plays it behind the net to Leatherberry. Leatherberry finds Anderson working along the boards in front of the penalty box. Both teams are now at full strength. Not a good power play by the Panthers. I don't even think they got a shot off. Anderson is dumped onto the ice. Anderson slow to get up. Looks like Anderson is okay. 6.25 remaining here at Oregon Ice Arena. 2-1 Edgewood. Faceoff won by Edgewood. Rotier will dump it in. Shervin chases. Puck is dumped and called for an icing. Panthers with an opportunity with an offensive zone faceoff. Rotier with the faceoff against Richter in the offensive end. Controlled by the Crusaders. Working down deep, Edgewood trying to find an open shooter. Shot off the crossbar, saved by McAlpine once again. Nathan McAlpine's been busy tonight. Shot by Richter, stopped in traffic. Richter once again, can't find anybody. That shot goes wide. McAlpine will cover it up as the puck is battered around and ends up right in front of him. Five forty-one remaining. Panthers need a goal to tie. Defense is own face off for the Panthers. Easton Lindert will face off against Matt Richter. Clun will play it around the boards. Linder puts a body on him, and Anderson will give to Jakey. Jakey and Anderson skating in. They'll throw Jakey off the puck, and they have done a great job of slowing down Andrew Jakey today. Clun will fire it in deep. Panthers need the chase. Icing is called. And the Panthers with an offensive zone faceoff opportunity. Panthers have not been winning their faceoffs as of late, which is a big problem. They have not had have a good opportunity to score this period so far. Faceoff once again won by Edgewood. Kegel goes behind the net. And here come the Crusaders. Shot saved by McAlpine. Easton Linder. And Owen Porter face off and Linder will win it. Played along the boards by Buscogger. Shervin. It's the puck knocked away. Linder will end up with it. He'll just fire it in deep. Played by White behind the net. Edgewood breaks it out. Jakey corrals it. Above the dot. Shervin fires to Linder, goes off. Back on the Crusaders. Drakey tried to lay the body but missed. Edgewood skating it out now. Fires a puck in deep. 
Klum plays behind the net. Once again, no penalty called. Shervin lays down and blocks the pass. And there is a penalty. Panthers have been asking for one for a while, and James Shervin gets dropped and shoved in the back. 3.45 remaining in this final period of play. Edward still leads 2-1. and Halibay will go back into the box for the second time this period. Two minutes for cross-checking. The Panthers bench have, has been wanting a lot of penalties called and it's been a lot of pushing and shoving, a lot of big hits so far. A lot of chirping after the whistle. It's been, a, it's been one of those kind of games. Like we said to start the game, Edgewood 13-2, first in the Badger Small Conference. Oregon 13-0, first in the Badger Large Conference in this Badger Challenge game. A lot on the line. Panthers started off 1-0 with Brock Buskeyer scoring from the point. And since then, it's been all Edgewood. Scored with four seconds remaining in the second period and they scored a quick one at the end, or in the middle, I should say, of the second period. Correction, we know it was, it was the start of the third. Kinsler scored on a rebound to start the third period, and since then, not a lot of great scoring opportunities for both sides. Panthers called a timeout here, and they'll come out of the timeout. Top line coming out of their power play unit. They have Leatherberry, the lone defenseman, with Peterson, Jakey, Lindert, and Anderson. Lindert, the faceoff man. Won by Edgewood. Goes off a Crusader player. They'll throw it down and dump it. Played by McAlpine. Here's Anderson. Anderson gives up to Lindert. Linder will regroup, makes a move at center ice, and they'll enter the zone. Linder, wraparound opportunity, can't get it to go. Anderson gets shoves in the face. Anderson was trying to go for a rebound and got cross-checked in the mouth. Mason Anderson is down. Not sure if a penalty was called or not. A dirty play by Edgewood as Anderson got cross-checked in the face going up for a rebound. One of the refs discussing with a couple of the captains from both sides. Correction, they're going to send Thompson to the box or at least they put it up on the scoreboard. Two minutes for roughing by Thompson on Anderson. Very dirty play. Anderson was just crashing in for a rebound and just got laid out right in the mouth. He looks to be okay though. Thompson will enter the sin bin. And now a five on three opportunity for the Panthers. A golden opportunity. Edgewood scored their first goal on a five on three. Three eleven remaining, folks. It's 2-1 Edgewood. Two unanswered goals for the Crusaders. Can the Panthers answer? Linder will find it in the corner. Linder, Anderson on the boards. Anderson down low. They're trying to find Jakey. Leatherberry, Leatherberry rips one, blockered away by White. 
Leatherbury loses his stick. Richter, good defensive play. Good job by Leatherbury to get back to stop. That was Coke. Looked like he had an open shot. They're holding it in the corner. Edwards is trying to waste time. 2.30 remaining. Panthers need to get something going. Shot by Coke is blocked away. Two on one opportunity. It's Peterson and Anderson. Peterson, shot saved by White. 2.18 remaining, 33 seconds left on the five on three. And now they're sending Anderson to the box for a third time. Anderson is frustrated throwing the stick in the box. They'll give him two minutes for slashing. Interesting call. I, for one, did not see it. And now it is a four on three for 33 seconds. Panthers got to score quickly. Here comes Jakey, Andrew Jakey. Lost the puck. Shervin. Shervin moving in. Shervin tried to find Jakey. Lindert a slap shot. Saved by White. Leatherberry. Passes tip to Jakey. Panthers moving slow. They got to pick it up. Jakey around the net. Moves in. Saved by White. Rebound. Another save by White. Leatherberry had a chance but couldn't bury it. Linder from the point. Finds Shervin. Four on four now. And Edgewood will corral, but it goes off their skate, and they'll dump it. Golden opportunity for the Panthers. Can't get anything going. A minute 20 remaining. Undefeated streak on the line for Oregon here in this final minute 15. Panthers got to go. I don't know what they're doing. Taking their time. Edgewood now at full strength. Peterson still in the box for 50 seconds and saved by McAlpine. Pushing and shoving in front of the net. What a save by Nathan McAlpine to keep the game within one. A minute four remaining. Mason Anderson still in the box for 46 seconds. Edgewood on a power play, five on four. Control at the point. Kegel fires a shot. Deflected up and out of play. Two unanswered goals for Edgewood. Panthers trying to answer back. Kegel. We'll just keep it at the point to Richter. Richter over to Kegel. Kegel down the coke. Jiggy will tie up, puck will go free down in the Panthers offensive zone. 35 seconds remaining. Panthers need a miracle here. Shot goes wide, 20 seconds remaining. Anderson's out of the box and one. 15 seconds remaining. Shot goes wide, that was Richter. Seven seconds remaining. And they'll just play it and keep it along the boards. And the Edgewood Crusaders will hand the Oregon Panthers their first loss on the year as they'll win the 2024 Badger Challenge. A stunner here in Oregon, Wisconsin at Oregon Ice Arena as the undefeated Panthers fall for the first time this season, two to one to the Edgewood Crusaders. Before we go, we would like to thank our sponsors who helped make this OCA Media Sports exclusive broadcast possible. The Village of Oregon, a great place to live, work, and play. 
the Oregon School District, actively building competency, character, culture, and community. The Oregon Athletic Booster Club, doing great things for all Panther sports. Your membership dues directly support our student athletes. Consider becoming a booster today. Oregon Area Cares Community Coalition, parenting teens is hard, we're here to help. OregonAreaCares.org. Wisco Industries, proud supporter of Panther, Panther sports, celebrating our 75th anniversary in 2024. Culver's of Oregon, Stone Health, and buy your local pizza pit. Thank you all for watching this OCA Media broadcast. I've been Cole Krieger. I will see you over at basketball in about half an hour. I'll be on the call with Luke Marks. Have a good night, everybody.